Okay, in planning our polling platform build for our skiff, we have the frame that I bought on offer up, and we got to create a fiberglass top for this thing. So, um, I'm going to measure this. So, from the outside to the outside, it looks like it is. 32 inches. Make sure it's the same. Yep, 32 inches by 6 we got like a 39 and a half. And then the distance between the feet is 34 and 3 quarters. Love it. It's going to be great, man. We're going to get rid of this box right here where the battery's in. We've got these aluminum braces that are built. And that's going to, they're going to go in this way. Um, create, a, create a platform on top. That's what mounts this onto. And then the gas tank and the battery will go underneath the platform. Get some nice rod holders built in. We'll be ready to go. What we're going to do is we are going to have a fiberglass platform extend out from this gunnel out 12 inches, which will come right out past this edge here. It's going to extend. The platform will extend 38 inches out here all the way across. Same thing on this side. Uh, but now we have the dimensions. Sophie, you ready to measure out some uh, foam? I'm ready. Yeah? I'm ready to... Sophie can't wait to stand on the polling platform. I can't wait. H hold this in place. Okay. So, guys, we're, we're just envisioning envisioning what our boat is going to look like with this big platform here. This is actually a big platform. It's huge. It's, it's huge. So, uh, it's going to be kind of interesting because it's, it's actually a tall platform. Like, it's like... And it, it might be, some might say that might be a little big for our boat, but I'm excited because when you're up high, you can do a lot more fishing opportunity here. We are having some we very gotta, funny technical difficulties. We gotta piece all this together, man. My dad, unfortunately, does not think he has enough of- We're gonna have enough. Okay. We're, it's gonna happen, Toby. Trust me. We just have to figure out. See, this this long narrow piece is going to be perfect. Oh yeah. Yeah. So we just have to we have to piece this all together. So what I'm going to have to do. See, this is broken here, so I have to cut this off. These are all scraps. This guys, this is all all of this foam is extremely expensive if you were to purchase it. And I was able to get some scraps from my buddy who works at a boat fabrication place. And and what we have to do is we have to piece it together in order to save in order to save a bunch of money. And so what I have to do is I have to like, just basically cut this. Let's slide see. it under. Yep, slide that under, just make sure I have enough. And then this guy here, and then this guy here. This is, this is gonna be exactly what we need right here in order to build this. So this is covered. And then what we'll do is once we ha have all these spliced together, nice and neat, then we'll cut out the edge of the polling platform. And then we'll have our, our foam. This foam is specific for fiberglass work because the resin dips down into the pores of this foam. So this is very important. Okay. So that outlines our pulling platform. Let me move this now. Okay, so you can see the, uh, the outline of our pulling platform. So now I'm simply just going to take a fillet knife. I'm going to bring this over to the grass and I'm going to cut this bad boy into shape. And, uh, Pretty simple. It actually cuts pretty easy, but I do need two hands, so I'm gonna 
stop the video and I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, so our foam top for our polling platform has been cut. It's got a little bit of you know rough edges. We're gonna have to kind of sand that out and make it nice and smooth, but it's nice and nice and to shape for the most part, 90, probably 98%. And we'll just have to do the finishing touches. And I think we're gonna be ready for glass here soon. So um, we've got our rear platform which is what the polling platform is going to mount to. And then we've got our polling platform uh, foam cut and ready to go. So we're ready, ready to rock and roll. The thing we want to do before we start glassing, we want to make sure that the edges on the top, this is the top side of the platform. Um, you know that because these little holes, you want that out where it's facing out because that looks more aesthetically pleasing. But the edges are a little rough, so we're going to have to sand them. But what we want to do is we want to bevel these edges a little bit. And I've got a tool to do that right here. And um, we're going to bevel these edges so that when we glass, it makes a nice smooth round surface. And it looks kind of nice as well. So I'm going to turn this thing on. And... nice beveled edge now uh, it's gonna make for a nice easy glass thing so I'm gonna do the rest of this and we'll start glassing all right we got new uh, aluminum feet welded onto our polling platform because the ones that were on there before uh, were really really corroded and pitted so I went to my buddy Keith over at uh, tack welders and um, and he he put new feet on there for me so next step guys i'm actually going to sand all the old powder coat off this I, I bought this frame this aluminum frame off of offer up uh, a guy from offer up for about a hundred bucks and you know it needed a little love and it, it was all scratched up but what we're going to do is we're going to make this thing look really nice i'm going to sand it down with the sander i've got the 40 grit sander uh sandpaper on there we're just going to take some of this uh, old powder coat off down to the aluminum so it's ready to get a nice fresh coat of paint on. But this is pretty easy, guys. It comes off, it comes off pretty easy with the 40 grit. So, uh, comes off pretty easy. I'm going to sand it down with the 40 and then go over it with the 320 and make it nice and smooth. And then we'll get it powder coated and uh get her going okay guys it's time to start cutting our fiberglass sheets for our polling platform today we're going to glass just the bottom side which is the, uh, the flip side of that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to trace out two of these because i'm going to put two layers of this 1.5 weight and then i've got one layer of this 17 weight so we're going to trace out two layers of that one layer of that for side a and we're going to glass it then once that's dry we'll sand it and do the same thing for side for the other side but we're gonna i'll show you how that's a little different so here we go all right i've recruited my boy to help with fiberglass work today you ready yes sir okay you're getting your ppe on aren't you don't know what that is personal protection equipment I guess PPE baby four gloves four four latex gloves on each hands the reason we're having multiple layers of gloves on each hands is because uh, as you get fiberglass on on a layer and it gets weird to work because you've got fiberglass shards stuck to your hand what you do is you take the top layer off like this you find the top layer and you can just remove that glove and keep working because you don't have time to go clean your hands when there's when the resin is hardening. You only have a certain amount of time. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. We got your. We have our boots on. <laughs> We've got our long sleeve stuff. We're gonna pour our resin. We're gonna put two quarts of resin. Keep going. Keep going. Two oh, quarts yeah. is all the way up to the top. Let's see if we have enough. All right. We have 
two quarts of resin. Son, you can't get this stuff on your skin. This is the hardener. What I want you to do is pour some of this into here. Pour Not, it? Yeah, pour it into the cup. Uh, a little bit more. We need two tablespoons. It's the, almost the entire syringe. Okay, so you're gonna suck it up nice and slow, nice and slow. All right, we've got two tablespoons and we're gonna squirt it in there nice and easy. There you go, Just put it all in. It's so hard because it's like... Yeah, when it, the syringe is getting jammed up. Okay, stir that up really good. Don't spill any. You gotta stir it up really good. Okay, get it nice and stirred. Pour like half, pour, pour half of it in there. Dump faster, dump faster, dump faster, dump faster. All right, now start start rolling it on there. We want to get a nice. Go ahead, roll it, roll it. Like fast? Yeah, go ahead. We just want to make sure we get a nice, good layer of resin on the on the board all the way to the edges. And you're just going to roll a nice, not a too thick of a layer, but we want to we want to make sure that this fiberglass. Is, is wet enough so that when we put it onto the the foam that it it is completely saturated with resin. All right, now we've moved our fiberglass sheet on top of our polling platform. And Lorenzo's putting a nice thick layer of resin on top. Does and, it and I'm, if bubbles already? No, we're gonna we're gonna smooth the bubbles out. So guys what we're gonna do this is a 1.5 weight we're gonna do a second 1.5 weight, resin the same thing, and then we're gonna put our 17 weight on top for strength, and I'm not gonna film the whole process, you get the gist. All right, we've got all, all three layers on. Here, squeegee from the, from the middle, and squeegee those bubbles out, there you go. If you have extra resin in there, kind of try to mesh it in, yeah. This guy over here, level him out, go out towards the edge, always go out towards the edge, there you go. There you go. Within a couple hours, it's going to be dry. It's a little chilly tonight, so it might take a little longer, but there's no rain in the forecast. And uh, we should be good to go. Then we're going to have to grind and sand all the extra stuff that's hanging off around the edges. Grind that all off, sand it so it's nice and smooth. Do the same thing with the other side. And then those sides are actually going to have a little extra fiberglass. We're going to wrap it around so that it actually covers in this whole thing, and we're going to sand it down. Then it'll be time to... Uh, Paint it and mount it on our pulling platform. We're gonna lay this here like that. Yep. Well, we'll, we'll wet here first. Yep. And then we'll lay this dry, just like it is. Uh huh. And we'll wet it on top. We'll wrap it around. As we're you know, wetting, we'll wrap it around. Yep. And then we'll lay the other one dry on top, just so it makes it a little easier for us to navigate. Okay. So we got. Is that gonna work? Because yeah, once that thing goes. He's the one to hit the brick as we're wrapping it around. Got it. So these, we cut it to the size and then extra off the, off the edge and then cut little angles like this so that we can wrap it around so that it folds nice and creates a nice nice evenly round edge on the side. A vision of what you're doing there, just, just filling in the cracks. Okay. Yeah, and this is what happens when your, um, when your putty bucket is out and left outside, it got a little bit of sun and it starts to dry out here on the side. So it's kind of like, we're gonna have to, piss, you know, pick through this and try and get, get rid of some of that stuff kind of a pain in the butt but got to keep keep take care of your stuff especially when it's as expensive as this stuff is let me hit the top let's do the bottom first. do the bottom first all right so now what are we doing here so you're gonna kind of like fold it over just start wetting. You're gonna make a mess. But this, I mean, there is no way. There's no way not to. Yeah. Okay. I'll try to cast. Kind of get it started and then just wet it in. Okay. 
Is there any way it's gonna stay? Oop, it already flopped. Sorry. Right. Yeah. Uh, keep going, keep going. Okay. I'll push it with a little roll. I'll come behind you. Okay. It's nice and wet. Okay. So the trick is just just blob it on. Yeah. Just get it super super wet. Yeah. Okay. That's uh, bro, we're kind of, we're we're a little crazy. This is the thick stuff here. Oh, just dump it in. Just right out. to be in that is something sorry for the tight working conditions there too many boats man it's like a marina <laughs> <laughs> i love it <laughs> too many boats all right getting ready to gel coat we got the bottoms of our aluminum pieces. all right we measured where the Feet of the platform go in. Just gotta drill through. Where does it go through? That one ends up inside the tube. It's inside the tube. So we're gonna have the thread here. Got it. So here we need to make thread. If the other ones go all the way through, we can just put a nut. Got it. And I have to thread it. Yeah, that one came through. Yeah. Open the hole a little bit, because I don't want this binding with the fiberglass, mm. causing it to overheat and possibly breaking my tap. Okay. So I made that a little bit loose, so this just goes straight into the aluminum. Got it. So your, your goal right now is to thread the aluminum. Correct. And you gotta go in and out, in and out, in and out. If you try to ram it, yeah. it'll heat up and- Warp it. No, it'll break the tap. Uh, the tap is very strong, but it's very brittle. Okay. So this is a finesse. Finesse yeah. game. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we just uh, screwed these on, these bolts. Now, Fred, what are we doing now? Now we're going to mark the holes in the back now that we know it does not gonna move okay so this is this looks like a problem because it's not flush right yeah but we'll put washers behind it and then we'll just fill in fill it in with 5200 5200 wow that's some confidence boy yeah that 5200 dude you try to rip that off it's gonna take part of the transom out really yeah wow okay so yeah we bought this polling platform on offer up and you know, it's it's a great polling platform, but it was obviously built for a different boat. It wasn't built for my little skiff. It's actually a very large platform for, for this little skiff. But um, the angle on the back is different. And instead of instead of cutting it and rewelding, we're gonna do something a little different. So now you're just gonna do your pre your pre drill. Yeah, I'm just gonna mark. Even that marked with a pencil. I think. By me having this here, I can kind of keep, try to keep it straight. If mm. I remove it, I might go at an angle and then this screw uh -huh. might go up or down.
All right, we showed you the uh, gel coat mixture with a, another video. We're gonna add that clip in and how that works. Right now, guys, we, we're gonna paint the underside of this platform, which we just did. Basically just rolled it on. We're gonna do one coat underneath. I'm not gonna worry too much about like double coating it underneath because it's, it's not really gonna be seen. We just want it to be white. And uh, once this dries, we'll flip it over and we'll do the top side and then we'll mount this sucker on the, uh, on the frame. All right, while our paint project is drying, there's a pretty cool rainbow that just popped out here. And uh, there's a big rain, rain cloud and pretty much the entire bottom of the cloud all the way across is a big rainbow. So it's pretty cool. Thought I'd throw that in the video as we wait for our stuff to dry. All right, y'all. So once I'm done rolling this first coat, yep. I want you to hit it with a beat. Heat. So it dries up a little faster so I can grab and just put it on the second. Got it. Just so we can get, might as well use all the paint we Yep. Okay. Yep. Go ahead. Might have to rotate it back so you get that side. Got this heater. I'm going to heat this up. Try and cook this so that we can put layer number two on today. Let's see if we can get this bad boy mounted today. Let's go. What are the washers for to put over here? In between? These are going to go on the back side. Ah. To give more surface area. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah, just Adhesive on here. On there. Yeah. Got it. So you're just gonna do the whole the whole surface. Yeah. Extra one. That'll be just be an extra adhesive, extra yeah. bond. Yeah. So we gotta be careful putting that thing on, huh? Yeah. So we don't make a big old mess. This I want to black. It, it's not gonna come off so easy. Yeah. May I have some so see how to clean it up. Since that's fresh paint, I'm hoping we don't stain it too much. Yeah. Here we go. there baby so we got a little wipe up to do with the black stuff here should use 5200 but it all good it's on dude mineral spirits wipe it up this is the screws being so long yeah sometimes the nuts get hot oh yeah and they will lock up really so this will prevent that okay or at least minimize it because then we would have to cut the bolt off. Yeah, no cutting bolts off. So it's just like a lubricant? It's not a lubricant. I guess it, in a way it is. It's called a tough gel. Okay. So it prevents it from getting too overly hot. Huh. So 
so it doesn't lock up. Don't, crap, tempt. Ba- don't talk crap about Priscilla. Don't. I got some for you. <laughs> don't tempt me. I got me. some cream cheese for you. you. got some cream cheese for you. <laughs> so don't eat that stuff. Okay, check. Yep, we got some here. So do one of these. This going to need a lot of them, huh? come to a point where we'll, it might have a little bit of a gap yeah but once I tighten it it'll, it'll, it'll it should squeeze in a little it'll bit squeeze in a little bit yeah if it bends a little bit of the base it's okay but as long as, long as it's mostly supported you know what I mean yeah that should be alright um, is that alright right. so okay see. fill in the gap with washers and then once we tighten them all in get uh fill it with 5200 but that'll be later since he forgot it since i forgot it <laughs> did the screw come out the other side oh yes it did i'm just gonna put a little more of that gel because as I drove the screws in, most yep. of it just stayed inside the flywheel lines. Ah. For the transom. Got it. So the washers are for expanding the surface area, right? Yeah, because if, if I put it without that, as you're screwing it in, it's going to dig the nut into the fiberglass. glass. Yeah. So by it being. Yeah. Bigger, it's gonna yep. have more, more tension. More, more tension, more, more surface area. area. That's muy bueno when there's as much pressure as and we're gonna be putting on this thing. With as much mantex that we put, it shouldn't give, but just to be on the be safe. Safe, yeah. Fred told me this is the transom and <laughs> is an area where you don't want to skim. No. Nope. Do it right. Do it right. Don't go cheapo. No cheapo on the transom. And I, I, I would imagine this is attached to the transom, so you, it would be simple. Over there. Yep. Next one, top. Top. Yeah. Right. Yep. Same side as I would just was? Yeah. Okay. okay. Right. Other one? Yeah. Go. That's right. Alright, so I can give it a tug, Fred? Go ahead. Yeah, buddy. He ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Let's go. She is part of the boat. Well, might drop stuff on the way, but that thing ain't going nowhere. Phew. Let's go. There you go. So that times what, 10? No. How many are there? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, seven. And this looks like eight, which round. Oh, it's a long screw. That's right, okay. Nice. Oh man, we got a platform, baby! <laughs> All right, let's go, baby. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 
got our screws through, put that little, whatever that is, lubricant stuff. Tough gel. Tough gel. Don't eat it. No, don't eat it. <laughs> Putting that on a little washer with our lock nut. And it's gonna be time. Watch your head. I'm gonna hold the, go ahead. Go. All right, now that all of our bolts are tightened down, Fred just grabs the end of the bolt and, and plucks it off like it's, ah! like it's freaking- uh, You're a, making me angry. Like it's like a freaking straw, bro. What the heck? I've never seen this before. Yeah, Dang. The, the, the strength in the screw is not in it. Once you start bending it, yep. it's not strong. It's not strong. But this right here can hold thousands of pounds of Dang. pressure. I've never seen that before. Wow. So you don't actually need to cut them? No, you just break them. All right, my turn. Your turn. Let's see. You gotta hold it really tight. Go like straight forward and straight back. Okay, ready? And once it gets hot, Wow! Oh! Okay. So, because there's a gap and it wasn't at the right angle, the goal is just glob as much 5200 in between as possible. Is that correct? Yeah. Just glob as much of it as you can in there, and and that becomes solid, Fred. Yeah, it'll it'll get hard. I mean, it'll Ooh. be a little bit rubbery, but you're not pulling that off any right. very easily. All right, Watch Your Lip fans. Today is a huge, huge day because Priscilla is completely set. We've redone her transom. We've redone this rear deck platform. We created a polling platform. Lorenzo, it's been a year and a half. Dude, you were like this tall the last time you were on Priscilla. Yeah, for a while. Yeah, so it's kind of exciting, right, to get her on the water. Yeah. Guys, today's a good day because we're actually gonna go and water test our boat mm -hmm. uh, and see how the J16 Carolina Skiff uh, does with all these upgrades. You ready, buddy? Sure. Let's go. All right, so we've got a lot of more, we've got a lot of additional weight now on the back of the boat. Uh, we, we created this big rear deck here with uh, fiberglass, it's extra weight. But that's not a lot, it's fiberglass. Well, it's, it, that whole thing probably 35 pounds yeah. for, that, for that piece, it's not too bad. Then we redid our transom, we made it double thick uh, and it made it really, really, really tough. That transom, if there's a hurricane, I'm putting that thing, I'm sitting underneath that thing because that, ain't, <laughs> that thing ain't going nowhere, it's not breaking. Very solid transom, but it probably added a little weight to the boat but we also added the weight of this aluminum frame and then a fiberglass piece on the top probably another four, 35 pounds something like that lorenzo are you ready to jump up on your pulling platform for the very first time very ready all right guys let's see how he does we're gonna jump right up okay look at that dang bro all right, what? This is what polling platforms are built for, right here. Ha, 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 ha.